You said tell you a bedtime story? All right, well, let me give you a quick one. Once upon a time, there was a naughty, little crispy, little black adolescent child in his neighborhood. He caused all type of ruckus and turmoil, knocking over people's mailboxes, breaking fire extinguishers, stealing pieces of chicken out the local fried chicken spot off the display, telling the donut shop owners that to look over there's a roach so he can grab a quick, a quick glazed donut and go. Tripping old people as they walk. He'd be walking, kids would be playing soccer and would kick the ball in his, in his area. He would say, all right, I'll throw it back, throw it in the canal. And then one day, this black crispy critter with nappy ass hair, just mad at the world for no reason, decided to take a different way home. He decided to take a different way home. He was out causing turmoil, ruckus all fucking day. Right? He started to come home a little bit late, a little bit later than usual. So he starts walking down the alley, this dark alley. And he hears a noise and it goes. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? he starts looking around. He thought it was a dog eating on an old piece of steak that was just thrown out. It was a rotted piece of steak out there. He thought maybe a dog had slobbered it up. And he starts walking and he hears this again. <laughs> this time he hears it twice. And this and now he's just freaked out. Usually this this crispy ass kid was the bully. He was. Not really a bully, but the troublemaker. So shit didn't fear him. But for some reason, this dude was scared. And he's walking still. And for some reason, this dude decided to, to start to run. Now, you know, when you run, a dog's going to chase you. When you run, you're liable to get chased. So he starts running. And as he was about to hop the gate, something grabs him like, get your black ass down here. It pulls him. Forces his face onto the concrete. He looked up. He didn't. He didn't see anything. All he felt was a strong presence, an invisible presence. As he looked around, scared. Like, Lady Gully. He just couldn't. He, he couldn't just fucking. He couldn't get up. He just felt overpowered. He, he just had to kind of succumb to what's gonna happen. Next thing you know, he feels his boxers rip off. He feels his fucking belt. Buckles, his belt buckle snap. And before you know it, some sort of being or deity shoves something up his ass and he's like, ah! and this is this thing is just thrusting him, just destroying his insides. And he just lays there like <laughs> just getting fucked by this deity being, this invisible black spirit. <laughs> And then he wakes up in the alley three hours later, face down, side of his face full of gravel. Feels something wet. As he gets up, he's in a puddle of something. And then he gets up, as he gets up and he starts to wipe and his eyes start to barely crack open. And he smells something that comes from a different dimension, from a different, a different side of the numbers. And, he, and he, he feels it in his ass crack and he takes it and he looks and it's highlighted green matrix juice, you bitch ass nigga. Don't ever ask me to tell you a motherfucking story again. He was just laying there in matrix juice, just a puddle of bust matrix juice from this weird matrix monster that came and fucked him through a different dimension. There's your fucking bedtime story. Take your black ass to bed.